Hey guys, so I am back with my very first ever Birch Box unboxing. So I'm sorry about my face. Um, it is the middle of winter and my face has been so dry that it cracks and bleeds. And so I've been having to put a lot of moisturizer on it, which in turn is breaking me out. And so I have like little friends all over my face and it's very painful and um, my makeup looks cakey because of it. And I've just been running around all day doing errands and stuff. And so I am not looking my best, but um, I know you guys don't care. Anyways, my very first ever Birch Box. This is actually the January Birch Box. Look how cute it is. And so, when I first, it came in a bigger box, and when I first opened it, I had this Resist Intensive Repair um, Wrinkle Retinol Serum, and this is actually so cute, let me show you. This isn't part of my bag, it was just an extra that they sent me, and it twists up. It's so cute, um, I haven't used it. Um, this is hard to use, it keeps twisting shut. Ooh, so it is like a serum. It's orangey. Oh, it's thick. It doesn't have a weird smell. This is nice. I don't know if I'd put this on my face just because of the type of skin I have. Um, I might pass this on to somebody though, but it is really nice and luxurious. Oh my goodness. And so this is 0.24 milliliters and it says it repairs wrinkles and sun damage, builds skin firming collagen, and reduces dark spots. And then with that I got a little sample of Viva La Juicy Gold Couture and let me smell it. A decadent rendition of Evil Juicy that indulges the senses with luscious wild berries, kisses of honeysuckle, and a luxurious elixir of golden amber, melted caramel, and vanilla. This is literally so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so those were little extra samples I got. And then uh, when you first open it up, it looks like this. What cute packaging. And now I do have Ipsy and Birchbox. Um, eventually I may cancel one or the other. It just depends. They're both $10 a month. And um, most people I've noticed cancel Birchbox if they're more into makeup. So I may end up canceling Birchbox. But again, I'm going to wait until I at least get three boxes to decide if I'm going to cancel or not. Just because at first it takes them a while to kind of... Um, curate the boxes to your needs and wants. So it says 2015, let's do this. Um, and there is a super duper exciting thing that they're planning if you save all of your boxes. We don't know what yet, but it's supposedly really exciting. Um, so as usual on the back of your card, it tells you what you're getting, what five products you're getting. Um, I got an Esslor, Esslor Firming Collagen Day Cream, a full size is $85, and it says this radiance boosting paraben free cream boosts elasticity and keeps wrinkles at bay. Now my age on there is 17 and they've so far sent me two wrinkle creams in the same box. <laughs> I'm kind of confused about that, but that's okay. It says once or twice a day, gently rub it onto a clean face and neck. and. The smell of this is kind of weird. I get that it's because it's like natural and paraben free, but it just smells so weird to me. Again, I could always pass these on, so for like $10, this entire box is not that bad. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. I'm sorry if the angle is different. I just knocked down my camera. So as you know, my other camera is broken, and so I've been using my phone to film, and it doesn't fit on my tripod, so I have like a stack of palettes and my phone on top of it. Um... Anyways, yeah, so next so next I got the Harvey Prince Hello Conditioner and Shampoo, and these are both 15 milliliters. They are um, revitalizing, hydrating, and repairing professional, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and color-safe shampoo and conditioners for all hair types, um, and they do smell. So again, kind of a weird sample just because they are $22 each, which is not something that I would pay for a full-size product. Um, but 
Again, I'm not knocking this box for three more times. I'm just sharing what I got. Um, the next two things I am pretty excited about, and they are in the little goodie box. And this is a floral... I'm sorry, I can't I read it. It's a floral scented makeup water, I guess. The packaging is in French, but it is fragrance-free, alcohol-free. And it's good for contact wearers. Let me just take some... It doesn't feel oily, which I love. And this is actually a good size sample. This is like half the size of a normal makeup remover that I use. Um, it says that... It has soothing corn flour and it does feel soothing. A full size is $23, but it says it's hypoallergenic, gentle on the eyes, and wipes away waterproof makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how gentle this is. Like if I have to rub my eyes to get it off, I'm interested to see that. The next thing is my absolute favorite. It's very small, but it's my favorite, and it is this Cindy Luminizer. And the reason I'm so excited about this is because I just bought the Mary Luminizer, and um, if you can see, it's tiny, 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 but just from swatching it, it makes me excited to have mine um, come in the mail. I got it on Hope Book, and it's just, oh, beautiful. And it, this even has a cute magnetic close. Oh my, I'm just in love. So again, this was my first birch box, and um, I'm not absolutely in love with it, but I do um, like two of the five products I was sent, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I do love the free one of the free samples they sent me, so that does give me a little bit of hope. And I will continue to see if I like it throughout the next three boxes, and then I will give you my final verdict on if I decided to keep my subscription or not. Um, again, go ahead and click the link down below if you want to go directly to their website and check it out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Let me know if you have a Birch Box and how long you've been subscribed and what you think of it, or if you have unsubscribed from Birch Box and why.